Hey, you got the goods. Yes. Now we can float. Now we, now we can float. <laughs> Fish on this beautiful day. Crappies and big gills. We gotta upsize some of the gills. Yes, I think what were we catching last time? Only like eight inch yeah. gills probably, so. Pretty standard. All right, today's the day. Welcome to spring pan fishing and today I'm out on the water and I just want to talk to you guys about using plastics for springtime panfish. Water temperatures, they're warming up, they're in the mid 60s, panfish are shallow and this is the time to take advantage of plastic. You don't need to waste money on minnows. Just a few simple things to keep in your arsenal and you're going to turn over more fish, you're going to save money, you're going to save hassle. Um, and I'm going to just give you guys some of my favorite tips. Now I'm out here, it's been like day two of doing this three now. Um, I've been targeting for the last how many weeks. I noticed that these fish were like really suspended, especially the crappies over deep before going shallow. And they were eating bugs. So I've been focusing on bug style uh, plastics and they have been deadly. Oh, crappie. Yes. Boop, 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 boop. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah, he's got his tuxedo on. Second crappie uh, I hooked into, and I'm using these mayfly plastics. These are exactly what I'm talking to you guys about. I've been seeing them eating bugs for the last, like, three weeks. Um, and so now that they're in the shallows, I was like... They're aggressive anyways, but if you can get away with plastics, I highly recommend those. Sporting his tuxedo, so I'm going to throw that right back in. I'm out here with my good friend Caitlin, who's been uh, slaying the bass using the same thing in the meantime. Hi. How's fishing? Good. Hoping to catch some more crappies, but I like a good bass too, so <laughs> we can just catch a couple more nice sized ones. Maybe not so many babies, and that'll be good, but it's always fun. There we go. What do we got though? Oh, it's a sunny. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. Nice fish. Throwing right back where we got him from. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> right. right into my cameraman. <laughs> Beauty. We're really racking them up now. That is crappie. Crappie! Yay! All right, got another one. Some of them are sporting their tuxedos, which means they're in the spawn. Um, some of them are not. But after this, I go hard with plastics, hard with bobbers, um, because it does keep them suspended. But also, they're going to shift out very shortly. A lot of the females probably already have back out past the weeds. So, what I'm into. This is the setup. Wow, he is black. That is a lot of male hormone. Um, oh yeah, he's dark. That's a dark fish. So when they sport their tuxedos, that simply means that they're in, they, they, males only do it, they do it just during the spawn, um, and that's a sign. So we're throwing these guys back where we got them uh, because these fish are obviously doing that. So. Not keeping them because of that reason, but they're fun. They're not the only fish we're finding out here. We're finding just sunfish hanging out, some crappies hanging out, but we do have some that are guarding their beds. There's a big bass. All right, let's talk about locations. Um, so locations this time of year is so fun. They're shallow. Look for water temperatures, mid to low 60s. That's when they congregate and sit in the shallows. It's consistent. Look for shorelines with some brush, pencil weeds, some sort of vegetation that they're gonna settle in eventually for spawn. They'll be shallow way before they spawn. Right now, it's the end of May. They're shallow. We're finding a few on beds. We're also finding them starting to shift out to the weeds. Um, and from here, you know, I'm using jigs right now in the shallows hence this, the lightweight setups the, the spring bobbers so that you can detect the bite they're perfect for quick adjustments out shallow but then also i'm going to be using spinners as they as they disperse it's the toughest part in the summer is when they start to disperse in the weeds so we're going to go from shallow water warm water bays shorelines you know to weeds off that first break typically and mid lake humps as we go through the summer months. So I'm gonna show Caitlin's rod. I've got, she's got a little bit better setup here with the line. I'm running some walleye line in a pinch. She's got lightweight 
six pound mono and that's perfect with a fast action light rod. Ultralight or light is what you need to throw small baits, which is what we're doing today. That is the purpose. Quality gives you sensitivity, gives you those feels when you're jigging and stuff like that. But when pitching baits, you gotta have a lot of flex on that end if you wanna throw something small. There might small. be a fish on here. Ooh, not working. Oh, it's a big sunny. I want a photo with this guy. Look at that sunny. Holy crap. Look at this giant. On the crappie pro on the crappie pro in Mayfly. Not bad, not bad. Can you get him and not drop the camera? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah! Woo! Okay, maybe. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, we've caught a lot of nice ones today. That's a really nice fish. Like I'm really happy with this. Wasn't my target. He was hanging out with the crappies and he committed. Got him right there. Again, why I love Bobby Garland plastics. This is not my species of choice, but they're all together this time of year here, which makes it a ton of fun. This is all panfish. Off of here, we're in 12 feet and they're already stacking here. Fish, they're moving out of the shallows this quick into the deeper water, summer pattern already. The spring panfish episode with summer patterns. That's why I love side. You can see him here too, on down. Pretty wild. Pretty wild, eh? I'm spinning us in circles right now. Oh, deeper. So this is where the females are. A little like smaller than the guy. Ooh, there we go. Just trolling around. So the males, we have found some uh, out shallow, like I said, but we're 10 feet now and we're finding them just off that first break. Same thing, same strategy. Yep. Those fish are already gone and out, and now things are moving quick. Nice Sorry. fish, pal. Thanks. Oh. So this is like one of those times where I'm kind of a surprised in the sense that fish went shallow when I expected it. It took a while for it to get, and we were out here two weeks ago and the water was in the 50s and they were not in the shallows, they were not in the weeds here, they were sitting out deep yet. And they were tough. It was a nice pattern. And now, maybe three weeks ago now, um, and now they're literally up on beds in the shallows and the females and non-spawning fish are out here on the first break and we're catching them with spinners cruising at 1.8. So like this spring has been so rapid but I can tell you that once you start seeing that shallow push it's usually when temperatures are in the low 60s and when that happens after you see fish on beds you can start targeting them off that first break in the weeds with spinners. It's my favorite way to catch fish all the time. It's really easy and I need really easy fishing strategies to be happy and uh, you're gonna have a high turnover rate. You never know what you're gonna catch and if you really get an aerial dialed in then you can switch back to bobbers, jigs, whatever it may be. So, hook up. I missed it I think. Miss? I'm spring crappie fishing and Nicole took me out and we had a bunch of fun. Who knew that spring bobbers could be so fun? <laughs> it's pretty fun. And there's just crappies everywhere. Like, everywhere. Swimming around you're just Big crappies everywhere. Easy fishing is fun fishing. That's Easy, my motto. Yeah, that is a good, good motto. I agree. <laughs> oh, there's a huge suspended fish. Uh, if I can do it, I always say if I can do it, you guys can do it. I'm such a mediocre fisherman, so learn some simple tricks from me and you'll probably find more success on the water. <laughs>